Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and I'm your host today and today I have a major updates coming from Giga Berlin. So stay tuned. We will look through all these pictures. So first of all, from this initial plans that Tesla sent to the government and to all the authorities, we do see that a further expansion will happen at some point to the north. And we do see that the buildings that Tesla has uh, already um, built are just a small fraction of that what Tesla is initially planning. So this is some great news. Furthermore, we do have um, the plan here from the area that is already done. And on the right side, the slim building will be the battery cell production. And we will look into that because that is really interesting, guys, because there are some really good updates coming for that one. So we have a big advantage here in Germany. Um, I do know all the frustration, but we have the great advantage that these papers are open to the public. So we are able to look into them and we can understand what Tesla is planning here. And if you do enjoy this channel and as I'm German, I bring you all the news from Germany as well here from Grünheide. Um, please do consider subscribing to stay up to date. There is some really exciting news coming in these coming months and I'm really looking forward to have you all here. Looking into that, it is in German and we will look into um, some um, main things here. This is the timeline and we do see that by November, most major construction and installation will be done. And the installation ST2 is for the stamping machines. So I do think there will be a further expansion of those stamping machines happening afterwards. And the installation of PL and IMM is the plastic paint and injection modeling. But these will already start in August. So meaning August and September will be the two major construction um, times when the most will happen. And we will also see um, a party area on the roof. I will look into that with you at the end of the video. And we do see that by September, most major construction is done. And then some further is going to happen till November. But after November, there's just pretty much nothing really major happening anymore, which could Tesla uh, could uh, prevent Tesla from um, starting. So what means if we conclude that it means that Tesla will be able to start production by November. Um, if everything is going according to plan, this is four story or four level high uh, battery cell production. So we do see here that the building that we have looked at with the major foundation, which everyone was asking, why are they doing that? They are doing it because it's a battery cell production. And we do see that it is four levels. We will have heavy machines inside. And that is the reason why they do that why they have taken so much time on building this foundation because it's a four story building. We do see here on the left side um, small lines and a um, yeah, pretty good frame here. And this is um, pretty much for the can stamping machines. And on the right side that we are looking into in a second as well, we do have here um, uh, further cathode and anode uh, production. I hope I do spell that right here. So we do have the can stamping machines and the cathode and anode production. Here are the can stamping machines outlined. So we do see why Tesla is really taking its time in Grünheide to build this foundation because it will be a pretty heavy building with a lot of um, production machines and stamping machines, etc. inside. And this will take um, some really good foundation over there. So you see the big advantage that everything is outlaid, outlaid to the public and we can see um, all the papers and all the numbers and everything that is Tesla planning. Of course, there's a lot of um, black, uh, black written stuff which we are not able to look into. Um, but again, these um, are really clearly showing that this entire area that we have watched over the past weeks starting to occur is the battery cell production. So as we know that, and if, if we conclude now, based on that, what we have seen here, it is pretty clear that we have now to shift our focus on the progress of this building. Because without batteries, 
Tesla won't be able to do what they are um, want to do because starting pr uh, production by the end of November or maybe December, beginning of December is only possible when they have the batteries. What I do find interesting is that the building for the battery cell production here looks way more different to Austin. In Austin, they just built the building. There was no major foundations happening. So it's, um, it's ask me the question, or maybe you have an idea why in Germany they have built this entirely different to the United States in Austin. So this would be a big question. Are they having a different production line? Will they have used different ways of doing the battery? So um, we have to check that and see for the time being what's happening in Austin. But it's really clearly going forward here. And I'm really, really happy to see that they are actually planning to uh, finish all major buildings and all major installations by November. And this would mean that Tesla is able to further ramp up production or start production by December. Looking at that um, signature or this line here, we do have the um, party area on the roof um, clearly seen here. So this will be started to be built by July and it will be finished by September um, November. So um, we will see further footage of that pretty soon um, happening. So um, yeah, it's really exciting. I hope you do enjoy all the news here coming from Europe because it is really important for Tesla to achieve here um, a successful start of the production by the end of the year. And for all those out there that really are upset about the delays, it is um, it is sometimes really frustrating and you might have heard that in my voice as well when you have all this paperwork and all these um, open discussion what is allowed and what is not allowed. But based on these um, papers that are almost 10,000 pages long, you can accept uh, or ex uh, expect sorry, that there will be more papers, more numbers, more lines, outlines and plans come out um, by time. And some people will take the time to share that on Twitter and online. And I will try to provide you with most information. And I think today is a major day where we do see what will happen at Giga Berlin in the um, yeah near future. And if you did enjoy my channel, do consider subscribing to stay up to date. I bring you all the news from Europe, but of course it's more worldwide. But you will be with me and I will give you everything that is happening here in Germany. So I wish you all a wonderful day and thank you very much for listening. Thank you.